While it is common for a lot of drama to happen on screen on General Hospital, a lot of behind-the-scene drama is going on too. Earlier this week, there was a discussion involving Morris Bernard, Ingo Raidmacher, and Nancy Lee Gron. General Hospital fans who keep up with these actors' social media know that Raidmacher and Nancy Lee have a history of bad blood. However, then Bernard apologized for making anyone upset, and it seemed like beef is now squashed. It looks like the same is happening now with Tristan Rogers, who plays the character of Robert, and Wes Ramsey, who plays the character of Peter in the soap opera. The two of them have also landed in a heated conversation. What is all of it about? Keep reading to find out. Tristan Rogers, who has been playing the character of Robert Scorpio for about 40 years now, said that he is quite interested in the show's history. He says that he doesn't think that the show is doing justice to Caesar Faison or the portrayer Anders Hove justice with how they are presenting Peter August on the show. Peter is Caesar Faison and Anna's son. His intro on the canvas is extremely controversial. This is because of the extremely long history between Faison and the Scorpios. This baby was, in fact, a shock to Anna. In a recent cameo video, Tristan Rogers gave his bloom assessment on the current story regarding Peter August. He says that he isn't a fan. Rogers was actually defending Wes Ramsey to the fans in the video clip. He asked fans not to be too hard on his co-star. In Rogers' opinion, General Hospital has painted itself into a corner with the storyline involving Faison's son. At the same time, Rogers seemed to be pretty clear on how this poor storyline wasn't Wes Ramsey's fault. However, it looked like Ramsey did not appreciate this constructive criticism. How did he react? While Tristan Rogers wasn't really bashing Wes Ramsey, it looks like the actor got really upset about it. Especially when Rogers said that Ramsey was too much of a gentleman for the role of Peter. Wes does not agree that he was a miscast as the character. Furthermore, he thinks that it isn't right to criticize the General Hospital writers or directors like this in public. General Hospital Will Peter's truth come out in the week of March 1? The latest General Hospital spoilers for the upcoming week of March 1 reveal that some very big storylines will play out and they will dominate the whole week. Viewers who have been keeping up with the soap opera are aware that all the Port Charles residents are an inch closer to knowing Peter's secret. Spoilers suggest that Peter and Anna's anxiety will hit the roof when it comes to everything that will happen at the double wedding. What would happen? Keep reading to find out. Peter is quite literally hanging by a thread. His truth will any time come out. There are a number of people who have become suspicious of the man lately. Robert has been very hard on Peter. Spoilers suggest that in the coming week, Anna will admit to her ex that she has made more than one mistake regarding Peter and what she did wasn't good. Dant is also just looking for the right opportunity to take Peter out. Will he be able to do what he wants to? Spoilers suggest that he will find himself confronting Peter who is all set to marry Maxie. Well, the two of them will be able to hold everything together. Then Valentin and Anna want to be the people who handle Peter. The question is, will they get the chance? There are a number of people desperately trying to expose Peter, who will do it first. Another major storyline that will roll out in the upcoming week is Nina's storyline. Viewers would know that Michael and Willow have offered Nina time with Wiley. However, she isn't someone who is content with this. Nina believes that Carly had done something to make sure that Nell was dead, and this is a thought that neither is she clearing nor letting go. While Carly and Jax have been cleared a second time by the officials, it looks like Nina isn't done with them right now. Jax will try to reconcile with Nina. However, he then will realize that no matter how much effort he puts in, nothing will happen. Nina does not want anything to do with him. Her main focus is to make Carly pay. General Hospital spoilers suggest that Nina will play an important part in keeping Sonny away from his family. She became really interested when she called Phyllis and Sonny answered the phone. That storyline will play out in the upcoming days. These aren't the only interesting storylines playing out on General Hospital. Chase will step up for Finn when he will be in need of support. What would happen there is still unknown. However, their brotherly love is always there when it comes to the two of them. On the other hand, Obrecht will send a message to Maxi. However, it isn't clear if Maxi will get the message or will more chaos happen in her life. General Hospital airs on ABC all weekdays. General Hospital coming and going October 2019. Wes Ramsey on his exit and more. 
There have been general hospital spoilers floating around that Wes Ramsey might be done with G.H. He no longer wants to do anything regarding his sketchy character Peter August. He recently opened up about his role and his time on the show. Playing the part of Peter August since 2017, he soon became a top favorite among fans. At first, everyone thought his character would be more inclined towards the negative side, but after a while, he really turned his character around. He ended up being a good guy. But hey, before we jump to any conclusions, he also has a lot of secrets, and if they come out, they can ruin all his relationship. Not to forget, lives in Port Charles as well. Meanwhile, when all of this was going on, rumors of him leaving the show really shook people to their cores. HTBS colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash slash b3 thnp wage gh slash question mark utm underscore source equals ik underscore web underscore copy underscore link. But as it turns out, he addressed the rumors saying that he will not leave general hospitals as yet. He hopes to be on the show for as long as possible. He does not know where these rumors are popping up from. But his guess is that it could be because he signed a two-year contract with GH and his two-year anniversary is coming up. Aren't you absolutely delighted that Wes Ramsey is not leaving the show as yet? We mean, fans just love him on GH, and we equally adore him as Sam Spencer as Guiding Light. Needless to say, he is a great actor and has also been a part of films. His latest being, Perception which is all set to be released super soon. He shared that he put his heart and soul while filming it. Not only that, but Wes is also coming out with his own poetry book, and why wouldn't he? He's been writing this book for years and is delighted to share with readers. This latest book, called Into the Black, will be available to us next month. He earlier wrote a book back in 2014 called Salt and Sand. It turns out Chloe Lanier, who plays the character of Nell Benson, is back to the show. Nell will be seen heading for her parole hearing. She hopes to receive an early release from the prison. While this is happening, you'll also see more characters in this upcoming week. Fans also found out who Michael E. Knight is playing on General Hospital earlier this week. Turn of events was as such that Knight is handling the role of Martin Gray, who happens to be the attorney who is representing Nella. We will also see that Kyler and Caleb Enns will take over as James West, who is the son of Maxie and the late Nathan. Twins Ella and Emma Hewlin make their entrance on the show as Sonny and Carly's newborn daughter, Donna Corinthos, on 30th September. 